Hey guys, this is Copic Tips again. This video is my Sharpie wide and Copic wide comparison. So, these colors don't really match, but they're the closest I could find. I only have two wides and two um, Sharpie wides, so this was the best I could do. Um... I am so proud of myself. I actually started making some of the videos I promised. Um, so you can check out my How to Color Bubbles video. Um, I'll put a link in the description box. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will also put a link to one of my, my um, video where I sort of caught you guys up on everything. Um, I also posted my Eraser Face Off video, so I'll put a link to that. Um, yeah, and some videos I will be making still is how to draw blonde, brunette, and black hair with Copics, and I will do anything you guys request, just put it down there, um, and I think I might be doing a how to draw trees, or like a how to shade trees video, so, yeah, I'll be doing that too. Um, so yeah, I have a little piece of paper right here, just a scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to be testing these two out on it, and really I'm going to be seeing which one can give more, like, thick lines, if you know what I mean, like, um, sometimes when you're using a marker, it'll look kind of streaky, so, um, consistency also, and I'll also be giving them a fashion rating, how how nice they look and feel in your hand, you know. So let's cut to the close-up. Okay, here's the close-up portion. Um, I do not have a tripod, so I'm balancing my camera on this little stress ball I have at my desk, so it's really close. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, these markers look ginormous now, but it's only going to be for a little while. So we'll start with the Sharpie, and I believe this color is like turquoise or something. Um, here's how the tip looks. And as you can see, the color there corresponds with the cap. And here's how the body looks. So I'm just going to make a little line here. I'm going to do a thin one, a thick one, and sort of a medium one. And this could also be a good marker to use for calligraphy, so we'll just do a little M next to here, a calligraphy M. Okay, so, not the best calligraphy there, but, okay. Um, now we'll move on to, this is B39, 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 Prussian Blue, and it's a Copic Wide, and I'm going to do the same thing I just did with this one. A thin, a thick, and a medium. And then I'm going to try and do an M. So, there's my thin line. Now the thick. That's pretty nice. And then a medium. Alright, so the medium's a little bit on the big side. But we will make do. And now my M. Okay, this is, try not to be, I'm going to try not to be pitiful here. Okay, so that was, um, kind of awful. <laughs> um, kind of looks like two flags and maybe it's like a palm tree. I don't even know. So now I will go back to the normal, like, zoomed out portion. Oh, wait, um, let me get this calligraphy pen here. This is a real calligraphy pen. It's just this black one I got in this set. And I'll show you a real um, calligraphy M, just so you know what to compare it to. This is the only calligraphy letter I remember from this kit when I learned this. So it's kind of like that. Let me try it a little bit more. Um... So yeah, it's along those lines. So... And you can also do the same thing with this one. It's a 
thin, thick, medium. So now I'll zoom out. Yikes, yeah, the cap goes on these horrible. Uh, there we go. Okay. Zoom All right, in. guys, we're back over here. And I'm just going to show you how this looks all zoomed out. So here we have the wide. I'm getting my things mixed up. Here we have the um, Sharpie wide. And here is the calligraphy pen. So as you can see, these are both good for different purposes. Um, so we'll go up close to the Sharpie. You can see it gives a pretty even line, no streaks that much. Um, the cap is not very accurate. It kind of looks accurate in the camera, but in real life, this is a, a bit more greeny, this tone here. And the M went pretty good, except I noticed the marker bled a little bit. So I'll do a line here, and it will sort of bleed out of where I originally drew it. Now we'll look at the wide, and the caps on Copics are pretty accurate. This cap is a little bit darker, but it's not that much, so I'm not going to complain that much. The line is pretty even, although there are some parts where it didn't fully go. That might be my fault, though. And the M is pretty awful. So now I will grade them based on appearance and how they feel in your hand. I think by terms of appearance, I'm, I have to admit, I really like the way the Sharpie wide looks. Um... I love the colored cap. It's such a nice touch. Um, I do not like the way Chow's look, however, like with the the way the cap is all colored. I like the way Copic's look, um, Copic sketches, because they only have it on the tip. So I'm weird that way. Sometimes I like the full thing colored. Sometimes it just depends on the marker, I guess. So, ooh, poor wide. He lost this one. Um, and my next contest was... How they feel in your hands. So, I'm just going to do some scribbles. And I have to say, I do like the way this one feels more in your hand because it is more of an oval, as you can see from the bottom here. The bottom of this. So, this one's kind of hard to hold, but I still love the wide. Um, so the winner of this battle is the Sharpie Wide, but there are way more colors of the Copic Wide, so it's kind of a win-win. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Ciao for now.